Lens flares often happen in portrait photography naturally. For example, in this photo, there is just a natural lens flare from the lens coming in from the sun being behind the subject. Sometimes we want to add one after the fact though, and so here's how to do that, and here's a tip how to create a customizable lens flare. Go ahead and open up some kind of photo, even a photo you took inside, as long as there's a light behind the subject pointing toward the camera at some kind of angle, starting from the left, the right, or any angle behind the person pointing forward toward where the camera is located, then it would make sense to have a lens flare. We don't want to add a lens flare to a photo where the light is only coming from behind the photographer toward the subject and no light source behind the subject or even to the side or a little bit over here. So in this example, I want to add a lens flare. And so if I just go to filter, render, lens flare, and then I, let's just say I put it right here and you can choose what kind of lens type you want, 50 to 300 millimeter zoom, 35 millimeter, 105 millimeter movie prime, and you can also adjust the brightness. So let's just say we had some like that, click okay. And then we have our lens flare. The problem though, is that it's now part of this background layer. It is not editable unless we just wanna edit all the pixels. So I'm gonna to go to edit undo. And what we wanna do, let's say we created a new layer and try to add a lens flare to that. So filter, render, lens flare. We can't because it's an empty layer. We can't add a lens flare to an empty layer. So what we need to do is fill this with the color, add the lens flare, and then adjust the layer blending mode. First, let's go ahead and add the lens flare. Then we're gonna undo, I'll show you why. So go to filter, render, lens flare. And we can see where we would want it to be located, probably just about here, somewhere where the light would be coming from. And I think that looks pretty good and click OK. And now let's go to edit undo. I'll show you why in a second. Go to layer one, make sure your foreground color is set to black. If not, you can just press D that'll do the default foreground and background. Then press alt backspace on the PC or option delete on the Mac fills it with black pixels. Now let's go to filter, then lens flare. We do this right here. Don't go to filter and then render, then the lens flare again. We just need to go to filter lens flare because that's going to put that lens flare with the same settings in the same location that we just did earlier. So filter, lens flare, it redoes that effect. And now we need it to show through so the black pixels don't show up when combined with the lower layer. So go to layer blending mode and go to screen. And now if you hit the eye icon next to this top layer, there's the effect without the lens flare and there's the effect with it. Now you might be thinking, oh, it looks kind of fake. You know, it's a little bit overdone. This is why we make this on a new layer. We can adjust the opacity, bring it down a little bit. We can also go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we can blur it a little bit, make it a little bit more realistic more subtle. And let's say you just didn't want some of the lens flare. You can also add a mask. So if you add a layer mask, bottom layers panel, choose a soft edge brush, make sure the foreground color is set to black, hardness set to zero. And let's say you just didn't want this one right here. You just click and drag, and mask it out. There's before and there's after. There's still a subtle brightness coming through the back. You can also move it around with the move tool. If you just click and drag, you can see it right there. You can move it around. You can rotate it, click and drag over the corner. Make sure we stretch it out a little bit. If you want it to look realistic, it doesn't matter if you stretch it out compared to other pixels. I mean, it's not going to really pixelate per se, like a regular photo would. It's just this, it's already blurry because we've added a blur. It's just a lens flare effect. So, and then just double click to apply those changes. There's before and there's after. And so that's why we created this on a new layer. We can mask it out. We can adjust the opacity. We can rotate it. We can move it around. We can add a little bit of a blur. And so that's the secret of creating a lens flare that's more editable.